they play with their foot and that have an angle like that because it keeps it locked. It locks it up. And then you got the outside that's got the key in it, so it'll never. There's a lot of people that haven't figured this trick out yet. I guess they can't find it. All right, guys, well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you see on that intro, we we had some problems. Uh, just a few bearings on the press wheels, not a big deal. And uh, this isn't how I really thought we'd be going, but we got to the field, or moved to the field, and about a half mile from the field, the blue tire out. So, yeah, not a real good day. I haven't actually drilled anything from the start of this morning till now, and it's getting late in the evening. So, go get this tire while they're still open. And uh, we might get some drilling done today, I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna try to get some corn picked. Okay, we gotta get that going for high moisture because some of it's dried down way quicker than we thought it would. So we're gonna just shut down from drilling uh, and start doing that. Or if we there's a really long line, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be running back and forth. I don't know how that's gonna work yet, but so we may not get any drilling done today like I thought. But don't worry, guys. I just want to make it clear this is a bad day. Uh, but we have actually had a couple really successful days. Uh, I have gotten a little over 400 acres drilled here in the last couple days. So, so it's been going really good. This has been a pretty good week. Um, this is just part of it and it's frustrating. But we will we'll get through it like we always do and march to the next project. Before we know it, we'll be done. and waiting to get all in the field again because you know we'll be tired of the winter so anyways we'll get this done and go get a new tire and then maybe go get in the combine you guys wanted to see the combine anyways more than you want to see blueberry right yeah i do too
don't think that's fully correct because of where I'm going and how far I go in the field before I get a big load. So we're definitely doing better than 100 bushel an acre. I sure hope so because that would be the all. Um, but as far as how good it's doing, I really don't know. Uh, we're, I'm hoping we're sitting around 150 to 180. Uh, so for the year, what we had as we get tremendous, it, it, it got two hills going one right off the bat and uh, one later on. About the time it got, about the time it recovered from the first hill going to got hit again. Got the hiccup. So, if we get, if we get 180, I, I would be pretty happy because it went through a lot, and uh, the corn is really good corn. I was, I am very curious to plant this corn again uh, and see what it can do without having so much uh, trauma given to it. So there's that, but still looks really good. Everything's been running good, and pretty pleased with it for the most part. Guys, upside down here. There's here's what it looks. Whoops, gotta get on the rows. Here's what it looks like. Uh, pretty clean. Outer edge was a little weedy, but otherwise the field looks good. Moisture is coming in about 28, 29. Um, so at least it is on my monitor. Now this is over on the over there. It was a little bit wetter. But here it's running a little drier. You can see it looks drier. So, but yeah, it 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 looks good. I'm pretty pleased with how it looks at the moment. So, I am really hoping that it all works out. I don't know if you guys turn it upside down. Normally it moves. I don't know. Maybe it's how it started and that's why it's there. Anyways, that's what we got. This is what we're doing. So we're gonna keep going, see what we can get, get done. Thank you. 
wait a second, weren't we just watching the combine? You were. Um, before I picked up the camera again, we ran into some wet corn. Uh, even the circle, so we got half the circle done, and that was good. Uh, and we got moved over and started kind of going the other one, and made a couple passes through the middle of it, and our moisture went way up. So, decided to shut down, moved to another field, found that it was really wet, and then the next field was really wet. So, I don't understand this corn this year. We've had corn that's gone so dry, and corn that is still wet. So, circle makes sense. It's still right on time, but the dry land does not make sense. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So it looks like we're gonna wait another week again and pick it up probably into next week. Start going at that, and that's okay. In the meantime, we got lots of weed acres yet to drill. We're only about half done with our weed acres, and got, I got some custom acres to do. Um, and we're slowly starting to, you know, run ourselves out of time of the optimum time to be drilling wheat. So we're gonna try to focus real hard to get the wheat drilling done and move on. So that is the game plan. I'd say I probably better be checking to make sure I got all my hoses here. It looks like we got a couple of them that fell off. Must have done that in transport. So better get those put back on. And while I'm doing that, finish filling we'll go get in the tractor uh, so I'll you know that's in the future I'm gonna send you to the future now